Hello and welcome to my YouTube. This YouTube is on setting registration memory on an E463 keyboard. Hi, I'm your host. I'm Maury Reese. I made a YouTube a year or two ago about setting registrations, but I have received probably a dozen emails over the past year or so asking additional questions. So it's apparent that I didn't do a very good job on my first video and I'm going to do it again. So what are registrations? This is a way to set up your keyboard and save all the settings you make and recall them with a single press of a button. So let's say you're going to go out and uh, you're going to perform, I don't know, 12, 15, 20 different songs. You know, it takes a while to set up each song. You've got the style and the voice and the tempo and the key and the uh, harmony. Wouldn't it be nice if you could set all of that up in advance and then just store it and call it all back with one press of a button? That's what registration memory is all about. It's the way to set up the keyboard and then press a single button and store all of those settings and then call them back at a later time by pressing one button. So what can you save into a registration? Lots. Style settings, grooves, your main voice, your dual voice, your split voice, your effects like reverb and chorus, your harmony and arpeggio settings, something called DSP, the digital signal processing, and also the transpose settings. So how many registration settings are there? Watch this. There are 32. There are eight banks, and each bank has four memory locations. So eight banks of four registrations for a total of 32 registration settings. So there's 32 different settings that you can save, and these are permanent. I mean, these will last forever until you come in and overwrite them with some new settings. So you could set these things up today and they could last for years. So what can you save into a registration? Watch this. <laughs> yeah. You can save all of this stuff. Save all of these settings into a single button. Imagine how long it would take you to sit down and go through all of these things for every song you wanted to perform. And if you're performing for an audience, you know, they're not going to be wanting to sit there watching you take five minutes to go through and make all of these settings. You can do all of these. You can set the styles, 223 of them, uh, 26 different harmonies, 129 different arpeggios, there are 10 different things in the digital signal processing that you can set up. So all of this stuff can be set up and saved into a single button. And that's what I'm going to show you. So you use the bank and the four registration memory buttons to set up the registrations and to recall them. So how do you save into a registration? You've set your keyboard all up. You've got your styles, your voices, your harmonies, your split voice. You've done all the work and now you want to save it. Here's how you do it. Number one, press the bank key and then use the rotary dial to select one of the eight banks then you hold down the bank key and press one of the four registration buttons. I'm going to do this all live in a video at the end of this, but here's the instructions. Press the bank, use the rotary dial to select the, which of the eight you want, then hold down the bank and press one of the four registrations. You'll watch me do this live in a moment. 
So here, for example, I have set up a bank number three. And here I have set up bank number five. And I use the rotary wheel to do this. And here I've set up bank number eight. So your screen shows you which of the eight banks you have selected. All right. So now you come back a day later or a week or a month or a year later. How do you recall a memory registration? How do you call back one of those 32 memory locations you've set up? So number one is you press the bank button and use the rotary dial to call up which of eight banks you want. Then number two, press one of the four registration buttons that you want to load in. So you have eight banks and four registrations in each bank for a total of 32. So press the bank Dial up which one you want, and then tap one of these four buttons. That's how you call up and load one of these registration memories that you've set up. Let's watch two videos of me setting up registration memory settings, and then watch a video of me recalling up one of my 32 registration memory settings. Now I'm going to show you how I set up something into one of the 32 memory registrations. I have four memory slots in each of eight banks. So here's how I do it. So I've gone into my keyboard and I've set up my uh, style and I've set up my voice and uh, I've set up my harpsichord and... Uh, set up my dual voice. I've made all my settings. I'm ready to save it. So the first thing I'm going to do is reach out and press and the bank button. So it says you are in bank number one and with the rotary dial I can select which of the eight banks I want. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm just rotating the wheel. Four, three, two, one. So this is what I want to do. I've set up my keyboard for a certain song and I want to save that in bank number two, registration number one. So first of all, I have to get to bank number two. I use the rotary wheel. I'm setting in bank two. I want to put it in registration number one. So this is what I do. I'm going to press and hold the bank button as I tap the number one. Ready? Press, tap, and it says memory okay. That tells me it has just stored all of the settings of my keyboard in bank number two, memory location number one. Let's set something up in bank number four, Memory location number three. So I've dialed up bank four. I'm going to press and hold the bank button as I tap number three. Ready? Press, hold, tap. Memory OK. Let's do one more. Let's go into bank number six. And in memory location number four, six, four, I want to store something. So I'm setting in bank six. So I'm going to press and hold the bank button. Ready? Press, hold, and now I'll reach out and tap number four. Ready? Tap. And I've just stored something in bank number six, setting number four. So that's how you save something in one of the 32 bank locations. You have eight banks, and each bank has four memory locations. Now I'm going to show you how to recall 
one of the 32 registration memory locations. So here's the situation. I've gone into my keyboard, let's say several days ago, and I set up all 32 of the registration memories. Four memory locations in each of eight banks. And now I want to call one of them up. So the first thing I'm going to do is reach out and touch the bank button. Ready? Tap. And it says, oh, by the way, you're in bank number eight. So what I want to do is I want to call up bank number one, registration number three. So I'm going to use the rotary wheel and I'm going to dial up bank number one. So I'm rotating the wheel as I watch the screen. Here I am in bank number one. At this point, all I have to do is reach out and tap number three. Watch what happens on the screen when I do it. Ready? Tap. Registration three, bank one, and then it goes away. Let's do it again. Let's do bank number one, registration number two. Okay, so I'm sitting in bank number one. I've used the rotary wheel. And I'm just going to tap. I'm just going to tap it. I don't have to press and hold. Just tap it. Watch the screen. It doesn't last long. Ready? Tap. Registration 2, bank 1. Let's call up registration 1. Let's watch it one more time. Ready? I'm watching the screen. I'm going to tap number 1. Ready? Tap. Registration 1, bank 1. Let's go to bank number two, and let's call up registration two in bank two. Ready, tap. Registration two, bank two. All right, so that's how you call up one of the 32 registration memories that you set up.